you're looking for a fitness challenge, you're looking to be fit, fast, and strong, good man, you just came to the right YouTube channel. This is Fruit and Strength, and we got enough carbs for that here. So if you don't know who I am, my name is Mike Velasquez. I've been eating a fruit-based diet for over five years, five years, and I've been dabbling with a little bit of weightlifting. Just recently, I just put out a video of doing a 300-pound bench press. That's more than double my body weight, which by the way, only 1% of the weightlifting world will be able to do that. So in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a bunch of fitness feats that I'm going to be working on. Some of them I already did, but I haven't put them on video yet for you. And I'm trying to get this done before the Woodstock Fruit Festival this year, which is, I think, is the greatest health and fitness event in the world. Um, I'm going to be giving a class on powerlifting and hill sprints, and there's going to be, if you're really into running, they're going to be doing a 50 mile run. Not just any kind of run, they're going to be doing it fast. Too. Some of these guys do like a five minute mile. Mike Orenstein is one of them. So, I definitely recommend going there, getting some, uh, getting some bench press, some hill sprints, and a coconut water with me. So, definitely recommend doing that. So why am I doing all these fitness feats? Well, I wanna show that you can be exceptionally strong on a vegan diet, especially a, a fruit-based diet. And because that is the number one fear for people out there. They think that you're not gonna have any protein and you're gonna die within a couple months of doing it. And I, I used to think this way too, you know. Um, about 10 years ago, if you would've, uh, if I would've told you, if, if I would've told myself well, what I thought about a, a fruit-based diet, I would've said that you would've died within two months of protein deficiency. So it's a big fear and that's the number one question you guys get is, where do you get that protein from? So this will definitely answer it. And I think this is really important because a lot of people have heart disease out there. And when they go to their docs, you know, with, with heart disease, you know, they're going, well, well, doc, you know, I can't stop eating meat, dairy, and eggs because, you know, where am I going to get that protein from? So, you know, you know, people are dying out there because they're getting misinformation out there. Uh, my uncle recently just died uh, of heart disease. You know, I, I had my mom just had a heart attack about two years ago. You know, I'm scared. You know, I'm scared about my relatives' health. And, you know, and also you got the ethical, you know, for the animal rights people out there. And environmental food safety aspect. You know, I want my own gro grocery store line. You know, they got MRSA in the meat supply now. And I'm putting my fruits and vegetables on the same line as that. Um, also, I want to see people without acne. You don't have to get acne, or at least not that severe. Uh, eating a vegan diet will help uh, reduce acne. Also, um, I want to see people fit. I want to see people saving their hard-earned money, maybe uh, instead of you know paying for medical bills and pills, and maybe go on vacation to someplace warm with a lot of fruit during the winter times. I know I want to do that. So, uh, also, I want people. I want people more enthusiastic about fruit. Uh, there's so many different kind of varieties of fruit out there that we're not getting in our grocery stores. You know, I want. There's fruits out there like Rolinia that tastes like a creamy custard apple pie. It's just I've only heard and seen videos on it. It, it looks awesome, and I want that in the stores. Mango skeins. That is one of the best fruits I've ever had. Uh, it tastes like a, almost like a, a clementine, 
with a, a like a vanilla flavored clementine, <clears throat> and it's got a seed in it that kind of tastes like an almond. It's really awesome. Another fruit is the chocolate pudding fruit. I really love this fruit. It tastes like, you know, just like what the name says, chocolate pudding. So they actually get that in Florida, but I haven't seen it around here. That'd be awesome. We get some chocolate pudding fruit. Can you can you believe that? We, there's fruits out there that taste like chocolate pudding. So, you know, I'm doing it for the fruit. I'm doing it for everything. That's the reason why I'm doing these things. So, and also besides the showcasing, you know, that you could do this on this kind of diet. You know, just the fitness feats themselves, I think, have a lot of value. For me, you know, I want to be fit, fast, and strong, and just fit, not just physically, but mentally too, because you never know when you might need it. You know, we just had that Boston Marathon event where people were getting bombed. Well, you know, somebody might blow up your, your, uh, you know, a, a blow up a building, and you know, there might be a 400 pound slab of concrete on somebody. Well, you're going to be using, you know, skills that you learn you learn from doing deadlifts. So that's a 400 pound deadlift right there. Also, you know, if I'm going to if I need to work out, you know, I, I'm going to work out towards something. I know you could just take a walk, maybe you know, 20 minutes outside uh, every day and be healthy. But you know, I'm going to take it a little bit more. So also, it gives me a great sense of accomplishment. I uh, I have this list. And every time I do a new personal best I put on the list, it's just amazing how many things I get on that list. It, it really makes me feel really good to go back and say, wow, I did this, this, and this. Also, it feels really good. Have you ever seen the movie, the documentary, Pumping Iron with Arnold Schwarzenegger? You know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about. You know about the pump. Also, you know, weight training is really good for the bones. And this is really important because a lot of people have... Uh, hip fractures out there, especially with older women. Uh, and also, <laughs> there's an episode on Dr. Oz recently with a lady who's really big into eating dairy and you know cheese and milk and things like that. And she was coming down with osteoporosis despite all this calcium and all this dairy that she was eating. And it's supposed to protect the bones. So I thought that was uh, that was pretty wild to see. So even if you don't do a fruitarian or a vegan diet, I highly recommend doing these fitness beats with me. I think they definitely have a lot of value to them. So in, oh, I want to mention too, if you are, you know, if you really don't like the diet that I promote and you really want to challenge me on this, well, start doing these. You know, I'm going to be doing, so, you know, challenge me on these, see what happens. So what is the fruit and strength challenge? Well, it's a bunch of fitness challenges I picked out for myself and for everybody else out there that I think will definitely showcase that you can be exceptionally strong and fast and fit on this diet. So first up is bodybuilding.com, and this is the biggest bodybuilding website in the world. They promote a very high protein, lots of different supplements, and they came out with this ultimate strength chart. Now this ultimate strength chart is got a bunch of one rep maxes based on body weight to strength ratios. So they got like a bench press, weighted chin ups, uh, weighted dips, curls, all these exercises and they got different categories. You know, if you could do a certain amount of weight at your body weight of doing say bench press, uh, they have fair, good and excellent. Well, I want to get excellent on all that list. Another website is exrx.com. Um, they got a couple graphs on there. Uh, they have a little bit more higher standards than bodybuilding.com which they talk about the squat, the deadlift, the bench, the military press. They also do Olympic weightlifting, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be doing that because that's very technical. Um, I don't know, maybe I'll try it out. But they ha I like this website because it tells what, in, uh, what, what, what they should expect, what you should expect,
from being an untrained athlete to all the way to an elite athlete, being that only 1% of the weightlifting world will be able to get there. So I want to get to at least advanced to elite on that list. Another thing I got going is, I already, I already showcased it, but Men's fin Fitness Magazine came out with an article and they were talking about deadlifts and they said if you could do two times your body weight in deadlifts, that's considered beastly. Well right now, I want to get two times beastly, I want to go for four times my body weight in deadlifts. So I already can you already get three and I, I gotta say, I, I can understand why they, they think it's beastly because it is an extremely hard um, exercise. It's really brutal. Also, I'm going to do some high rep challenges too. And what I'm going to be doing is my body weight on the bench press doing 25 to 50 times. The most I've ever done was 36 at a time. I want to see if I can beat that record. Um, I saw in, there was a contest in Las Vegas where they, they did this uh, contest to see how many times we could do that. And I saw 50 was the max that anybody's ever done, at least that I've seen. Also, I want to do my own body weight in deadlifts. I want to do 50 to 100 reps. And another challenge is, it's very similar to Ted Carr, who actually does a diet similar to mine. Uh, he came up with this challenge doing 100 squats a, a day. So I'm going to be upping that. I want to do 150 pounds on my back, and I want to try to do that 50 to 100 times. Um, I know for me I could get 60 at the moment. I really want to get 100. Another thing is the NFL 225 Combine Bench Press Test. Um, the most I've ever done was 10. I want to see if I could beat that. Maybe I'll just keep it with 10. But I've never made a video on that. Maybe I'll make a video for that. I know I'm sure there's other guys who can do a lot more than that. But they're also like 300 pounds. And then steroids. Another thing is there's a Oh, to get into the military, they got these fitness tests you have to pass. Well, to score 100%, at least for, for me, for my age group, I would have to do 20 pull-ups, 77 push-ups, 100 sit-ups in 2 minutes, and also, also run 2 to 3 miles in 12 to 18 minutes. It comes out to be multiple miles of 6 minute miles. Which, uh, which is really tough for me because I'm not much of a runner. I could run one six, six minute mile and then I'm really cashed out from that. Another challenge is uh, Scott Herman, who is a very popular YouTube fitness star out there. I really like his channel, I learned a lot from him. And he came out with this challenge of doing 225 pounds on the deadlift and seeing how many times you could do it. And I got, I got up to 50 doing it, he got up to 40, so I'm going to have to put that on video. Um, that's an extremely hard um, feat to do. I've only got that once, I've been trying to re-record it, but I haven't got it yet, so it is extreme. Um, that's a hard challenge. Also, if you're into push-ups, you could try the Rocky Balboa challenge. This is how many times you could do the one-handed push-ups. I think if you could do 10 to 25 of them, I think that's pretty strong. I did 100 of them, so if anybody wants to challenge it, see if you could do more than 100 of them, you know. Challenge this fruit eater. I like to see it. Also, running, you know, I, I want to be a more well-rounded athlete. I want to run a five-minute mile. Uh, I, I ran just a little bit under six minutes. I want to see if I get that five minute flat. I know uh, Mike Ornstein who does this diet, he's an ultra marathon runner and he runs it in like a four and a half minute mile. It's mind blowing how fast that is. Also, I want to do a marathon and I've never, I just want to do one. I, I'm not really a big fan of long distance running but um, I'm going to at least try to do one marathon. I want to try that. I mean, I'll, I'll try to get that done at the Woodstock Fruit Festival because they're going to be doing a normal uh, marathon there too. So that's all the list of fitness challenges that I'm going to be working on. Hopefully you guys can work on them too because it really means a lot to the world if you guys could do that for me or to everybody you know. And you know if you can make a YouTube video on it because you know I did a 
I did a search for vegan weightlifters and stuff, and it seems like uh, there's not enough out there. We need more of them. We need, we need to flood this YouTube with as many fitness, you, uh, vegan fitness stars as, as we can. Because it really means a lot. Because people are dying out there because they have so much misinformation out there. So, I also got some other uh, fitness fees I can't really tell, tell you at the moment. Uh, some of them might be a little bit inappropriate. I'm going to see if I can get them on film somehow. So, that is coming. So, I look forward to your guys' uh, YouTube stunt videos out there. So, signing out. This is Fruit and Strength.